autobus. This time I am a very lonely gremlin because completely on my own I'm going from Toronto Pearson to Warsaw in Poland with my mother country career Lot Polish Airlines. At Pearson Lot flies from Terminal 1 with check-in in the Lucky Isle 13 which is about as far as you can go here without dropping onto the apron. I get there just before it opens. There is a bit of a queue already and so the first pleasant surprise is that as premium economy I get to check in with business. There isn't really a way to skip the queue completely. They have check-in machines Actually, I have already checked in online, but there isn't a backdrop. As you're unlikely to be going all this way with just your hand luggage, you got a queue one way or the other. Right, so the business check-in was really quick. And so, on this day, is security. It's completely empty! And they have puzzles to solve while you wait. And I don't get time to play with them. Oh well, I'm sure there'll be another time. Past security, the terminal here is split into those sub-terminals of sorts. If you're flying a Star Alliance airline long haul, you therefore get corralled into this enclosure which is about this big, from there to there, and so can fill up pretty quickly. There isn't that much to do here. There are some restaurants and a bar, pretty full as there are way more people here waiting than seats, and some shops that don't seem to get much food traffic. But you can play in an echo chamber, And you get a prime view. And this, this is my ride today. It's a Dreamliner! I haven't flown one in years. Well, at least two years. And while lot, which simply means flight in Polish, are often translated into later or tomorrow, today it's ahead of schedule and so one last cup of Canadian national drink and it's time to board. I repeat, La Polish Airlines is only inviting passengers of business and premium. Thank you. Oh yeah, that plane's definitely taking Poles to Poland. Oh, and look who's here. This is the premium economy cabin. And this is my seat, 7F. The signature 787 window. Moving headrest. A footrest. And this extension leg support. So this is your maximum leg rim. Also, it leans back a little. The table sits in your right armrest. It's decently sized and at least for me high enough. The other armrest contains the entertainment screen. The screen has a USB and a headphone port on the side and headphones are provided. It is not a touch screen. You operate it using this remote, a bit tricky to begin with. The same remote also controls your reading light. There are no buttons on the lights and this actually took us all a while to figure out. So there you go, know how. The reading lights, you'll be delighted to know, are aligned with where your reading might be. 
The seat also has charging points, but I will only find those on the way back. Your welcome pack consists of a pillow and blanket, a little glass of something, and a bottle of water. So that too is business class treatment. This is the personal storage pocket, not vast, but you do have the huge Dreamliner storage bins, which makes the coat hook all more of a mystery. I mean, seriously, have you even seen anybody ever use those? Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. All right, time to go. So it's goodbye Toronto, Toronto as they say here, and hello snack, and dinner. I'm not vegetarian, but I usually order it because on the whole it's the safest option. And on this trip it's fresh and crispy, on a real plate with real cutlery. Yum! There's quite a lot to choose from on the entertainment, although none of it appears terribly recent. But they have some ambitious cinemas, Japanese for example. I watched one and did not regret it. Right, with all this, time for Gremlin Lou review. Big, it is not. Ah, but you have one mirror shaving mirror and then a full length mirror wow it looks and smells well clean and new so hand cream and air freshener and some wipes also none of the funny business with the tub and it's got this funky button where you can make it hot or cold in so I shall now wash my hands like a human being. With the Lou review done, it's last orders and lights out. Whereupon I discover the difference between this seat and the business seat. I try this and this. And even this, I tell you, good stuff, I'm a cat, and cannot doubled up. The morning light is more than welcome. And so is the breakfast, which, once again, is very tasty. Coming crew on this flight are very friendly too, whether you speak Polish or English. So, on the whole, very good experience. For half the price of a business ticket, you get everything business other than the flat bed. I'd say it's good value. But then, I wasn't going straight into a meeting, so it didn't matter if I skipped a night. I could definitely hang around for a bit more, but we're descending.
20 minutes to 10 a.m. local time and the outside temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. Not Polish Airlines, Star Alliance and our partner Airlines, we wish you a very pleasant day and safe continuation of your trip if you travel on Mars from Warsaw. The crew of Captain Karol Lewandowski will be happy to meet you again on board our planes. Thank you. See you again soon. Bye bye. Thank you, Sierra Bravo. Time to go to town. I love this sign. With an EU passport, you can breathe through the empty E gates, so you don't have to be there. Go get the bag, not much of a wait. Must be my lucky day. And so, hello Warsaw! Long time no see. It's gonna be a long day. Places to go, people to see. At best, get going. Gremlin on the road.